Hi, welcome to Ideas for Profit. Today we are going to talk about Q3 result of RT Industries, which is the leading aromatic chemicals producer. In its Q3 result, company witnessed a strong revenue growth of 29%, led by high domestic sales and better share of value-added products. Coming to key highlights from the result, revenue growth was driven by rising domestic demand as the end customers, mainly downstream chemical companies, are focusing on import substitution. Secondly, specialty chemicals, which is the largest division for the company, posted 31% sales growth, mainly led by better pricing. For the volume growth of 4% in specialty chemicals was held by high utilizations. Now, nitrochlorobenzene facility is already an optimum utilization. Nitrotoline facility is expected to have a ramp up in utilization from current 53% to about 80-85% by the end of uh, fiscal year 20. Pharma division as well witnessed uh, strong growth, uh, held by high share of value adds such as xanthine derivatives. Sequentially in this segment, there was a sharp improvement in margins due to operating leverage. On the capex front, company continues with cumulative plant worth 2100 crore for three years. Here it is noteworthy that company is also expanding its nitrochlorobenzene capacity to 108,000 tons from the current capacity of around 75,000 tons. Now, as far as outlook is concerned, we continue to expect double-digit volume growth for the specialty chemicals. Product pricing for few chemicals might witness some moderation as company pass through benefit of low benzene prices. However, segmental operating margins are not expected to be impacted. On the other hand, pharma segment should continue to benefit from higher product pricing due to ongoing disruption in the API market of China. Now, post-recent decline, stock of RT industry is trading a reasonable multiple of about 18 times fiscal year 21 estimated earnings, where we factor in about 24% CAGR growth in EBITDA. Further, we continue to believe that high multiple assigned uh, takes account of global scale of operations for the company, wider product portfolio, and stable revenue visibility on account of multi-year contracts with some of the global chemical companies. And hence, uh, investors can accumulate it on decline for a long-term investment horizon. So that's all from my side. Thanks for watching.